Hello, the old bedsit blogger here with Gareth Courgette. Um, I've been growing my chilies and um, Gareth asked me one day, do you fancy coming around for a chili? And I thought, hmm, I've got just the thing. My first two ripe Trinidad Scorpion Marugas. Or oh, Maruga, you say? The world's hottest variety at the moment. That uh, might be shortly changing. And uh, I think we'll go to a macro picture of So, uh, yes, we've got these. We're only going to put one in there uh, because we're big girls' blouses. I just bought the other one so you could see. Oh. For the viewers at home, Carl. For the viewers at home. I believe that these are 2 million on the Scoville rating. Supposedly, but um, you're supposed to get them really hot by stressing them out and not giving them lots of water. So I made sure they had enough water. So we should maybe cut their benefits and sap them from their jobs and really stress them out and then they'll be hotter? Uh, yes, they're feeling stressed already. Mm. Uh, so we'll see what happens. On to the chopping. So here's the chilli, we're going to chop it up, haven't seen what this looks, let's look what it's like inside. There you go, there's the inside. Now I was going to try and scoop out some seeds but I think that's going to be more difficult. I might try that with some of the others. Fruity. Oh, yeah. Mm. Oh, that smells very much of um, Scotch bonnet. So uh, I've chopped it up into little bits, and we better taste it before uh, you put one in. There's a little bit for me. Uh, pick your bit, take your weapon. Oh, cheese! They're not very. Yeah, I'll this bit. They're very roughly cut. I've cut them in the rustic style. Mm. So, little tiny bit. I will do an entire pod test. Yeah, eventually. eventually. Oh, initially it's very pleasant, but then, bam, it hits. And there's a second wave as well. Wow, that is so, that is really fruity, isn't yeah. it? It's really, really fruity. <laughs> <laughs> and then there's a second wave. And the second wave is what gets the back of your throat. And it's very much like, um... With <coughs> got a, oh. with a Scotch bonnet, it hits the front of you, and with a tight chill, it hits the back, or is it the other way around? Yeah. Either way, this one hits your front and your back. Yeah, that is. I think we could call it a Michael Barrymore chili because it hits your front and your back. Oh, yeah, that is a uh... oh. oh carbonated drink. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, got very much a Scotch bonnet flavour and um, quite a lot of heat. It's peaked and then it drops quite quickly though. Um, I think it drops, I'd say as a, a slow decline. As a slow. The bit of your back of your throat catches a bit longer. Mm. Right, so we're putting the whole chilli in. Apparently so. In the words of a good friend of ours, this can only end badly. Oh. Okay, we'll just stir that through. Should he be gone? No turning back now. There is no turning back. There is only phoning 999. For those of you in America, 911. For those of you in Australia, 000. <laughs> For those of you anywhere else, you're fucked. <sighs> so we're going to let this simmer for about 25 minutes. Let the full chilli flavour absorb. 
and um, what we're doing, we're going to leave the lid on the pan so that the flavour escapes. So here is the um, rice and chilli, bit of cheese on top. The uh, what could possibly be known as the Barrymore chilli may leave you floating in a pool. That's pretty good. good. That's pretty good. Just on its own, it's really strong, but it's it's cooked out a bit. Yeah. You can taste the flavours in it. Yeah, you can taste the flavour more than the heat, really. Yeah. That's got a really nice. Oh, yeah. The secondary hit comes. I think I'm just taking a second mouthful too quick to get the secondary hit. Yeah. You let it germinate for a minute. Mm. Again. Not to reiterate the Barrymore reference, but it does really come in at the back door at the last yeah. minute. It sort of like snakes around. Yeah. So I don't think we'll need the uh, banana yogurt, uh, not yogurt, milkshake. Not yet. Not yet. Maybe later for cooling areas down. So, mm. chili sin carne, um, three bean chili sin carne. Um, thumbs up. Thumbs up. With the homemade chilies. My first chilies that I've ever grown. Bedsit chili curry. Yes. Can't say fairer than that. You can't if you haven't got a tongue because you can't get the in. Oh, 